What's up fellow fiends and fans of Halloween? I'm Ben the Halloween Hoarder and welcome to part two of our Halloween Mail Hall unboxing. In this video, I have 13 Halloween packages to open up from creators like Creepy Co, Austin Pardon, subscription services like Loot Fright and Cryptocurium, and auction sites like eBay. If you missed part one of this mail haul, check it out. There's a lot of really cool Halloween apparel, including this super comfy hoodie from Cavity Colors, and this rad shirt from Terror Threads. Well, as usual, my goal for these Halloween mail haul videos is to hopefully turn you on to some new artists or merchants you may not be aware of. And of course, they'll all be linked in the description below. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome to the Horde. If you love Halloween, consider subscribing because I have so much more to show you. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into it with this stack of flat packages. First one on the top has the Ursico Ghost. This is from Vintage Halloween Store on Instagram. I'm assuming this is a die cut, so I'm gonna open it as carefully as I can. Oh yeah. This is a two piece die cut. One piece being the body of the monster, the other being his studded club. You can see all these ridges on it. This is from a punch out book. There was a book sold with all these different die cuts in there and you punched them out of the book. This die cut is vintage 70s. The artist is Pete Holly, And the punch out books were by American Greetings. I don't know for sure how many pages were in there, but I know there were several die cuts in those books. This is a two-sided die cut. The same print is on both sides. And it's just in really, really good condition. Very happy to add this die cut to the hoard. Next is a package from Austin Pardon. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know he's one of my favorite Halloween artists. And this, these are prints. These look to be about eight by 10 on nice cardstock. They have a matte finish on them. And these prints are by the artist Austin Pardon. Halloween is eternal. And this next print has a pumpkin headed devil levitating above a bubbling cauldron circled by pumpkin headed women and in Roman numerals 31 down there at the bottom. And this last print is of a wailing ghost on a farm. There's a silo and some jack-o'-lanterns a bucket of apples and water, some witches flying through the night. Always happy to add a piece of Austin Pardon's collection to the hoard. Such a rad artist. Thank you so much. Also in there is a sticker pack, Bumps in the Night sticker pack for vintage die cut stickers is what it says on the on the header card here. But these are these are brand new. Looks like a jack-o'-lantern, a candy apple, a beware sign, and a ghost. Super cool, and I love the art on the header card. So rad, Austin, thank you. Next is another package from Austin Pardon. Feels quite a bit heavier. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. There is another print, the same Halloween is Eternal, and a book, Abominable Illustrations by Austin Pardon. This is a paperback book, full color, so rad. Let's just flip to a page, I'll show you. It's a collection of some of his art. This would be the second book that I own from Austin Pardon. This is the 2020 book. I also have this book. I think I got this one in 2018. Another collection of his artwork. A 
super happy to have another book in Austin Pardon's collection of Halloween art. All you other Halloween artists, make a book and I'll buy it. Please. Next is a package from eBay. The seller is hard to find party supplies. It's an envelope. Oh, rad. Look at that. It's two of my favorite things combined. Halloween and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I am such a big fan of both. This is a honeycomb centerpiece display by Eureka. And I wanna say this is in the 80s. Yep, 1989 Mirage Studios, who I believe owned the rights to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Still in its package, it looks mint to me. Excellent condition and so rare. Halloween Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles honeycomb decoration. I had never seen these in the wild as a child, and I'm so happy to add this to my hoard. So rad. <laughs> All right, let's open this big one. This is clearly from eBay. Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna very carefully try and cut this package open. <sighs> There's a whole gust of air that came out of there, it smelled like, <laughs> it smells vintage. Okay, let's see what's in this package. Look at that, sealed in a trash bag. Wow, and I thought that last decoration was awesome. Look at this, a sealed, unpunched, on card, flocked, Ninja Turtle Halloween die cut set from Eureka. 10 velvet soft flocked pieces printed both sides. There's some really cool nostalgic price tags on here. This is through the Paper Magic Group in copyright 1989 Mirage Studios. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me to hold in my hands. Wow, I'm speechless. Cowabunga! Okay, let's get into it. There's Michelangelo holding some candy corns. Raphael holding a pumpkin coming out of a manhole. The four turtles with <laughs> Halloween candy and a pumpkin on Leonardo's sword. Oh man, this is like tattoo material right here. Vampire Leonardo, Pirate Splinter, Michelangelo coming out of a pumpkin, an orange version of the, the, the Robots, Mouser, Donatello jumping over some candy corn, and it wouldn't be Ninja Turtles without a pizza now, would it? This is incredibly rare. I have never seen this in the wild, as a child, so rad. I'm incredibly happy. I'm ecstatic to add this to my collection. It has a toys price tag on it for 75 cents. It has a Caldor price tag on it for 2.99. Caldor? Where are there Caldors? Do you know where Caldor is or where that was originally? I'm from California, San Diego for most of my life. I've never heard of Caldor. Let me know in the comments, what's up with Caldor? So, so happy to have found this. So happy. <laughs> I can't even shut up about it. This is gonna have to be the, the thumbnail picture. Oof, it got me a little emotional. All right. <laughs> Let's start with... All right. We'll start on this pile. And the first box is from the Halloween Shirt Company. If you missed the first part of this mail haul, I did open some packages from with shirts from them. Some rad stuff. Well, this isn't clothing, so what could it be? Let's find out. Oh, wow. 
This is the limited edition Halloween candy bucket. I'm pretty sure this was based off a drawing from Austin Pardon. I'm not certain, but I think it was. So this has like a, a gloss inside. I'm not sure what it's made out of. It doesn't feel like plastic, like a traditional bucket. And it doesn't feel like it's ceramic, like it would break if I dropped it. But it's rad. It has a rope handle on it. And there's a peeping skeleton out of a winking jack-o'-lantern. And it just has the Halloween Shirt Company logo on the bottom. I always love to add a new bucket to the hoard, especially when it's an artist's conception, limited run, something new. Oh, there's more in there. There is a sticker with a surfing jack-o'-lantern skeleton and a save Halloween 2020 button. Cool, thank you. As well as another tote bag. Halloween Shirt Company loves their tote bags. This one is black and has a, a cool design with skeletons and a jack-o'-lantern. Well, thank you so much. All right. Next, let's open this smaller package. I'm pretty sure this is from eBay. Must be in the paper. Oh, rad. This is a vintage Halloween noisemaker. This is made out of stamped metal a vintage image of an arched cat and two owls and a bat flying by the moon. So rad. This piece will join its brethren in the hoard next to other vintage metal noisemakers. Next, let's open this priority mailbox. I'm pretty sure this is from eBay as well. What's inside? Safely packed with bubble wrap. Oh, cool. These. These are vintage McDonald's cups. Reusable cups with lids. This is a Halloween cup with a jack-o'-lantern and two nuggets. On one side, Grimace, Hamburglar, and Ronald McDonald. On the other side, and a very cool sculpted jack-o'-lantern lid. Just barely vintage. This one has a date of 2000. Now I know there's some collectors out there that'll say that's not vintage, but everyone has their own idea of what they think in their collection is vintage or true vintage. But according to the definition of vintage, it's anything that's 20 years old or older. So this is vintage. This next piece is a little more relevant this week. This is the Christmas mug with a molded red Santa topper. Some nuggets at the North Pole. Santa Claus with Grimace and Ronald hanging up Christmas lights. And this also has a date of 2000 on there. And I wouldn't even have known about these if I didn't see them on Instagram. Our Sweet Decay posted these and let me know where she found them on eBay. So thank you so much, Liana. I appreciate it. These are rad. Next is what I think is the final box in this year, 2020's Cryptocurium Halloween subscription box, Order of the Thinned Veil. This is a heavy one. I can't wait to see what's inside. So Order of the Thinned Veil is a Halloween package subscription that Cryptocurium does every year. And there's different levels of the subscription for choosing how many packages you wanna get and what you want to receive ultimately. Wow. Look at that. That is so awesome. Is that wax? 
No way, this is resin? And there's a light in there. This I believe is sculpted by Jason McKittrick and I think it to be painted resin. And there's a light in there. <gasps> Let's open it up. Oh, I can still smell the, the paint. These are all handmade and painted by them. Let's turn this thing on. Wow. This piece is amazing. One side with an evil jack-o'-lantern, the other side with a more friendly jack-o'-lantern. There's a gravestone down here with some awesome detail. This one looks like a pile of jack-o'-lanterns. On the other side, a pile of skulls. This is so rad, a very heavy piece. This has gotta be solid, solid resin. And the lights, it's a light strand, just sunk right in there. Wow, this is awesome. So rad to be collecting all these handmade pieces of art. I love this. Let's see what else is in the package. There's two more resin figures. There's the Order of the Fin Veil official, official member certificate, number 95. There is the Order of the Thinned Veil membership package. And I did subscribe at the All Hollows level, and I think this is the last package in that subscription tier. I'm so happy I did. This piece is amazing. And there's another print by Sam Heimer. Skeleton holding a jack-o'-lantern with worms in a basket. That's amazing. And this is signed and numbered 100 of 100. So this is the last piece in a group of 100. All right, let's see what little figures we got. Wow, this one's a devil holding a little trick-or-treat pail. And this one is a skull holding a trick-or-treat pail. Just like this one I got from the last box. So the company is Cryptocurium and Order of the Thinned Veil is their yearly subscription Halloween package. Don't sleep on this. They, they book up really fast and each of these pieces are handmade. Check them out and get ready for 2021. It's gonna be here before you know it. So this is a personalized title. They say no two are the same. So for me, it says Order of the Thin Veil official member, Ben, is an active member in the Order of the Thin Veil for the year of 2020 and bestow the title of Rabid Collector of the Debased Lore. Rad. All right, next in subscription base, there is this box from Loot Fright. And I know in the last mail hall video, we opened up Loot Fright and there was nothing Halloween related. So let's hope in this box, there may be something at least horror related. And if not, we're not gonna open these up anymore. So this is from Loot Fright. Loot Crate has a subscription based package service, different packages every month. This is the horror genre of that. Let's see what we got this month. A red and black scarf with a pitchforked devil character. This looks like a figure by Alex Pardee. It says Mr. Cramp. It's probably a Krampus character. This is in a sealed box and I'm not gonna open it, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can just imagine what it is. It's probably like a little vinyl caricature. There's also <laughs> Looks like a, a goat's hoof on a keychain instead of a rabbit's paw. There's a pentagram on the hoof and there's some runes written around the top of the, the keychain. This is a little mysterious velvet pouch. What do we think's inside? We have the money to save the goondocks. 
This is a, looks like a stamped medallion on a chain of what I would assume is like a Krampus type character. And that's it. So once again, not very exciting. That might have to be the last time we open up a loot fright box. All right, let's jump over to this side. This is a package from Toy Cube. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Wow. So Lance Inkwell is an artist I follow on Instagram. Has a very cool style. Reminds me of like early 40s Disney type drawings, cartoons. Well, I'm pretty sure what this is, is the sculptors over at Toy Cube took one of his drawings and made it a 3D reality. All right, so here's the box. Yeah, that's a fire hazard. So here's the box. If you haven't seen any of Lance Inkwell's art, I encourage you to stop this video right now, go through the description and find a link to his Instagram and check it out. It's so rad. So this character is called Gordy. And there's a pumpkin involved. So you know I had to. Look at this. This is so amazing. All right, I'm gonna separate the two pieces of plastic. The packaging for this is also rad. And let's take Gordy out of there. Wow. This is amazing. It's like watching his art just come to life right off the page. This is pretty lightweight, feels like um, PVC or vinyl, but the sculpt on this is amazing. Look at this character taking the lid off a jack-o'-lantern, wearing a mask. So rad. The world of designer toys is an expansive one and an expensive one, but I feel so privileged and happy to have this piece in the hoard. Such a rad sculpt from such an amazing artist. Wow, already in this haul, there's been such amazing pieces of art. I'm so happy to add to my collection. There's two more boxes and these are from Creepy Co. It's a long skinny box. I'm pretty sure I know what's inside here. It's a rug. This is a rug based off of a Beesel design. It has a has a non-slip back on it. Who wouldn't love to look down every day and see this googly-eyed jack-o'-lantern staring back at them? This is rad. Well, the last box is also a long skinny one from Creepy Co, so I'm sure we can imagine what's in here. It's another rug. And this one, wow. This is a Beesel skull. Look at those colors. Can you even see the whole thing? Those green highlights, such a rad rug. I'm gonna hate to step on this. It's so beautiful, super rad. Wow. Well, thank you so much for joining me again to go through another Halloween mail haul unboxing. 
I will say I'm not sponsored nor affiliated by any of the merchants or artists you saw in this video yet. And hopefully you saw something you liked in this video. So please check the description for the artist or merchant below and check them out. Well, as usual, across from me on the couch, I'm staring at a thrift store haul that is all sorted out and ready to go. Just waiting to throw it up on the table and get in front of the cameras and talk to you about it. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and welcome to the Horde. Well, in this video, I'm gonna orper, orper, open maybe? Can you hear the washing machine? I feel like you could probably hear the washing machine. Should we wait? Let's just knock one out in case it's a good one. In this video, I'm gonna orper, or, orpen? Recording, this is part two of our video. The laundry was on and I did not know if it was affecting the video. Am I recording? If I didn't record that, that's redonkuloid. I am recording, okay. <clears throat> okay.